It's been a minute since I've done this, just sitting down, recording, and talking about Kingdom Hearts with you guys. I know it's been a while, mainly because you all know we're in a drought at the moment in terms of news. Other than missing Link news, which don't get me wrong, I am a little bit more excited for that game than I thought. Like, okay, excited is probably the wrong word. I'm looking forward to trying it, but I'm mainly looking forward to the story because I'm just not a mobile game person, never have been never will be but I I just need news for Kingdom Hearts 4 now luckily I don't think it's as far as people are you know thinking it's going to be I've seen people saying oh here we go another 13 year wait no like that's it's not gonna be like that it was never really like that if we're actually thinking about it you know logically like it was never a long wait like that however it felt I mean it's been like 500 plus days since the reveal of Kingdom Hearts 4 now I will say, like, feel that's a long 500 days. However, we knew when they revealed that there was Final Fantasy 16 in the making, as well as Final Fantasy 7. To our knowledge, it was just part two, but now we know it as a Final Fantasy 7 rebirth. Now we have a big heavy hitter out of the way in Final Fantasy 16, which if you guys have not played that game, I recommend it. It was my game of the year until I played other game of the year contenders but it was very very good for a final fantasy game definitely a new mainline final fantasy game i enjoyed it tremendously do i enjoy it more than 15 yes however i do find 15's characters much more memorable but that's just my opinion the next heavy hitter is final fantasy 7 rebirth i think right after that i would say give it like a month or two after Rebirth comes out, everyone plays it, buys it, marinates on it, loves the story, theorizes about the story. All the YouTubers gets their videos out of the way regarding uh, Final Fantasy VII. Then, only then, will we start probably getting more Kingdom Hearts stuff because the attention and the gear shift towards, okay, we got the Final Fantasies, they're out, they're out the door, people are loving playing them. Now we gotta go back is Kingdom Hearts turn and that's where we're gonna be at after Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth because there's nothing else really like Square has a lot of heavy hitters even besides you know uh, Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts however normally Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts alternate in between like the way they market their games and also what people are you know what they're like really driving home to make sure you know about and we were at Final Fantasy 16 I was seeing nothing but interviews and demos and people talking about it on the time of you know when that was coming out to be released and now right after that came out we got nothing but stuff for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth so judging by the track record in old times when we had it was Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts and all that now we're gonna see more of Kingdom Hearts after at least that's the theory I'm going with because obviously we're gonna get missing link we're gonna that's gonna be there I would say top priority in terms of they have to get us excited for that so that people download it and I don't know if it's a free to play game I believe it's free to play however you know they're gonna have some microtransactions in there and you got to it's just the way the world is but right after that we get our whatever it may be in terms of story then we're gonna start gearing towards Kingdom Hearts 4 because that's just the next in line if I was a betting man on when Kingdom Hearts 4 would be released Copium version, I'll say this right now, Copium is saying end of this year, you know, because I mean, theoretically we're getting two big bangers. We got Final Fantasy 16, you know, kind of middle of the year, and then we're getting Final Fantasy uh, 7 Rebirth the beginning of next year. I could see it being Copium again, but I could see it being at the end of this year. I could, I could, you know, you don't really need much to get us hype anymore with Kingdom Hearts. We don't need, you know, three years of nonstop news. Oh, well, that's just two years, but two, two years of nonstop news and trailers and all that to get us hype. You don't need that. However, if I was a betting man, a smart man, I would say into 2025 or early 2026. Now saying that hurt my heart a little because we just started 2024. I don't want to think about having to wait a whole two years almost. I don't, but if I was a betting man, I would definitely go all in on that bet for sure. I could be wrong, but I definitely think that's the smartest. Because, I mean, Nomura stated in an interview back before Kingdom Hearts 4 was even announced, there won't be as big as a gap. Now, 
Just take my word for it. We people, we've talked about this interview way back then. It's been almost two years since the reveal, and this happened beforehand. Just he was saying that there won't be as big as a wait as there was for Kingdom Hearts 3, and in Kingdom Hearts 3, really, I mean, it had a big wait, but that means that we ain't only got to wait seven years for the next mainline game. That's pretty much what he was saying. And before someone's in saying, well, we actually waited 13 years. No, no, we're done with that. We're not even thinking about that. But we're not gonna have to wait seven years. So when he says that, I'm like, okay, so how long has it been so far? When you start thinking, you're like, damn, hold on, it's been five years since Kingdom Hearts 3. Wait, if he said we don't have to wait as long for Kingdom Hearts 4, uh oh, that means this should be pretty close. And you start thinking about it, and it starts, the gears start turning where you're like, all right, no more, you said it. You said we don't gotta wait as long. Well, technically that means you can't wait to 2026 to drop it or else it'll be just as long. So you gotta do 2025. And if you really wanna, you know, make us happy, the copium level, you gotta make it 2024. So that's why it's a safe bet to say 2025 though, because it'll make him correct in his terms that the next mainline game wouldn't have made us take as long. But I just can't wait for the news to drop. That's really what I can't wait for because that's my favorite time of the year. And it's also what motivates me to become a YouTuber because that's the part where I'm like, okay, that right there is, you know, the thing that I got to do. That's my responsibility to get you guys the news because everyone deserves the news of Kingdom Hearts. Like that's just everyone in the community. Like back when I was not even making videos, the things I was doing was going on YouTube and looking for everyone, the gamer joint. HMK, all of them, to make videos talking about Kingdom Hearts. I needed it. And then when we had that drought and I started making videos, and it was just Call of Duty and Overwatch and stuff like that, but I was like, you know what? Let me throw out a video there. I just seen something earlier. Let me make a video. No one's made a video on this. And I started coming out with the news. And then in 2018, I was doing it consistently all year. I wouldn't say I'm the first ones that were to come out with the news, but I'd say I was pretty close. I was definitely one of the first ones there, but I wasn't the main one people are watching, but I was definitely there. And that's my goal this time around, you know? Once that time rolls around, I'll be back for sure. Because I love making Kingdom I love Kingdom Hearts. If there's three things I love so much and just talking about, one, Kingdom Hearts. And then the other two is like Metal Gear Solid. And I like Resident Evil a lot. I could talk about these three like the back of my hand. Like I could make videos talking about the story of all three of them and I could sit here for hours just <laughs> reciting stuff and cause I just love those games. Those three games right there, well mainly Metal Gear Solid and Kingdom Hearts. I view them very similarly because one, stories can, can be convoluted from the outside looking in because you're just like, God damn, that's a lot of games. That's a lot of story what now there's three versions of him i mean you you look at ansem you're like okay ansem xehanort xemnas they all the same and then you look you're like solid snake solid snake wait liquid snake they brothers a big boss huh and you're like but he look that's not snake. like it's a lot it's a lot of similarities but i love it i love it a lot so just know when it, when the time comes, I'm gonna be here. I might not be the theory guy that makes videos on theories. I might not be the combo tech guy where I'm teaching you guys the inner machinations of the combat that's in the game. But what I can do very well is give you guys the news when you guys deserve it. Now, it will be a little bit difficult now because if they start putting news during the days that I work and I'm at home, or I'm not at home, but at work, I gotta wait till I get home to make the news, which will make it a little bit more difficult. But I'm still going to do my best to get it for you guys. We just got to have trust in the process and I will be back in full when that time comes. I mean, I'm going to try to upload a lot. I actually have some videos lined up in terms of I want to start reactions to certain things. Not even just Kingdom Hearts related, but I do have one in mind Kingdom Hearts related that will go up soon. I just got to record it and all that. I also have some videos of just playing Kingdom Hearts because... I felt like I haven't played Kingdom Hearts in a minute, so I want to get back to that. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I realize and I know it's rambles and stuff like that. But you know me. If you subscribed here, you know how I am. There's no structure to the videos until it's news. I just like to talk as if we just a group of friends all sitting around 
and we just like i'm just like hey did you see this did you see this earlier what about this let's talk like you know it's just a talk video that's that's just how i always been in terms of my videos so i don't think that will ever change but if you guys did enjoy this video if you did leave a like subscribe and you guys know the drill i will see you guys later